It is time for the highs and lows of the week, and our first high goes to the city of Denver and the Nuggets fans who waited nearly a half century for the moment they finally got to drink in this week. Led by Finals MVP and Mile High City folk hero Nikola Jokic, the Nuggets beat the Miami Heat in five games to take home an NBA championship for the first time in the 47-year history of the franchise. There was the traditionally raucous ski-goggled champagne celebration in the locker room, of course, but Ford Aaron Gordon wanted to take it a step further, get out with the people. So yeah, he took it to the streets, joining fans outside of Ball Arena, jersey off, but game shorts still on. That long march to a championship is exhausting, though, as Jokic made abundantly clear after the game. Now you are an NBA champion, Nicola. How does that feel? It's good. It's good. The job is done. You can go home now. You can go home now. The Joker going viral for his general lack of enthusiasm. Just kind of going through the motions there as he gives the champagne a shake in the locker room and then doubling down on his desire to just get home to Serbia. When is play? Thursday. No. I need to go home. Saying, no, I can't do a parade on Thursday. I got to go home. But the two-time MVP got a good night's sleep and was a new man at Thursday's parade, partying in the streets with Nuggets fans and soaking up the love of his city. You got to love the Joker. Our first low goes to professional golf suddenly and mistakenly becoming a full contact sport. Canadian golfer Nick Taylor sunk an incredible 72 foot putt to win the Canadian Open in Toronto, becoming the first Canadian to win the tournament on his home turf since 1954. Taylor's buddy and fellow Canadian PGA Tour golfer Adam Hadwin was very excited. Hadwin sprinted onto the green to join the celebration with a bottle of champagne in hand, and that's when things took a turn for the viral. A security guard, thinking Hadwin was a rowdy fan, just executing a perfect form tackle of the tour player, dropping him to the turf of the 18th green at Oakdale. Let's take a look at the slow motion replay here. Just drops him. And check out Taylor's caddy <laughs> interrupting the celebration to say, wait a minute, I think we know that guy. We're happy to report Adam has recovered and is back in action at the U.S. Open this weekend. With due respect to that winning putt from Nick Taylor and that title for the Nuggets, our next tie goes to the most impressive championship achievement of the week. Yes! Come on, that is 21-year-old California native Max Park setting the world record for fastest 3x3 Rubik's Cube solve. He did it in an impossible 3.13 seconds to the delight of fans just going nuts at the World Cube Association competition in Long Beach. Max also holds the world record for 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7 cubes. He is a legend in the speed cubing community and even was featured in the Netflix documentary about the world he dominates. Max started playing with Rubik's Cubes as a kid to help his development after he was diagnosed with autism at the age of two. Way to go, Max. You are indeed a legend. Our final low goes to the rival Boston Red Sox, coming after our legendary Yankees radio broadcaster John Sterling up in the booth the other night. It was completely unintentional, but still. Boston's Justin Turner fouled one back out of play straight behind home plate at Yankee Stadium, directly at Sterling's play-by-play -play position. 3-2, swung on, a pop foul back here. Ow! 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 It really hit me. I didn't know it was coming back that far. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. You know, that wow, took a foul ball straight to the dome, but ever the professional Sterling continued his call, and the next day he was back at work with a few bandages. Turner, who is an all-time great guy, it has to be said, sent Sterling the ball with a note and a Band-Aid. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.